Hello, I'm Dan Robinson, Operational Manager here at Fayetteville Public Television. FPTV is a unique resource here in Fayetteville, offering video production education, resources, and a channel to empower you to make your video ideas a reality. These resources are free to Fayetteville residents and accessible to residents of Washington and Benton County for a $50 annual membership fee. The City of Fayetteville contracts with a nonprofit organization, Your Media, to provide the staff services and expertise to serve this production community. We provide monthly, quarterly, and annual reports to the city to let them know how the resources are being used. Today, I wanted to share with you information about the first quarter of 2018. The highlights of the first quarter of 2018 were that we had continued steady participation and growth, the equipment use continues to steadily increase, we have a wide variety of FPTV-supported original programming being premiered, we have active promotion efforts and community partnerships, and we have several exciting new initiatives being implemented this year. When it comes to our educational programming, in the first quarter of 2018 we offered 124 class opportunities. These are a combination of our regularly scheduled classes and independently scheduled classes. We had 47 individual participants result in 107 class participations. Our average test scores from these classes were 90% or higher. From these trainings, we have had 23 new candidate producers, which are people qualified to check out our equipment and begin working on productions. This chart shows you some active aspects of the operation. As of March, we have 194 current candidate producers, 62 certified producers, 100 active producers, 115 inactive producers, 12 outside producers, and 47 active productions utilizing FPTV resources. A candidate producer is someone who has taken a class and is qualified to check out equipment. A certified producer is someone who has completed a program and submitted it for telecast. An active producer is someone who has checked out equipment. An inactive producer is someone who has taken a class but has not yet checked out equipment. An outside producer is someone who has their own production equipment and submits programming that they produce for telecast. If someone has not contacted us in 11 months, we touch base with them to see if they are still interested in being a part of the production community. If they are not for any reason, then we roll them off of our producer roster. They are welcome to come back at any time after we refresh our class on whatever they are wanting to do. An active production is a production that is utilizing FPTV resources. Studio production here at the Television Center is very active at this time, with productions including FPTV Open Mic, The Black Label Show, Later with Jason Sewell, VHSO Cares, produced by people from our Veterans Hospital, World Citizen Wire, and The Green Zone. FPTV Open Mic is an opportunity for any resident of Washington or Benton County to have five minutes twice a week to share their thoughts, information, or talents with our television and internet audience. In the first quarter of 2018, we had 17 Open Mic participants, the most in several years. If you would like to be on television, you can come every Monday, 5 to 6 p.m., and every Thursday from 11 a.m. to noon, we are set up and ready to be of service. We had steady equipment use in the first quarter of 2018, with notable higher levels of use in the editing bays, studio use, and field camera checkouts. As you can see, equipment use fluctuates seasonally, wrapping up the first quarter with a definite uptrend across the board. We did not have any formal complaints in the first quarter of 2018. This continues more than six years without a formal complaint. Students have the opportunity to fill out a survey on the back of every test. They can rate their experience from one to five, with one being poor and five being excellent. We inquire if they feel that their instructor was knowledgeable and friendly, if the class material was presented in a user-friendly format, and if they feel prepared after the class to apply the skills that they learned. Our averages in March were all fives. This can be seen as an indicator that our participants are having an enjoyable and successful educational experience. When it comes to new programming, in the first quarter of 2018, we premiered 51 new original programs. We also premiered 31 new outside programs. We are currently serving 137 program requesters. 
If you have a program that you would like to see on the channel, you can visit our website for more information to be part of the FPTV programming community. Our YouTube viewership was up in the first quarter of 2018, helped by the fact that we are now streaming live on YouTube as well. This gives you one destination for both our live and VOD content online. Thanks to our live streaming, our channel, which was only available regionally on cable, is now being watched by people all over the country online. 2017 was a landmark year for FPTV as far as promotion. Promotional efforts included sponsorship of the Block Street Block Party, Spring Creek Arts Festival, Fayetteville Film Fest, TEDx Dixon Street, and Last Night Fayetteville. We had print advertising in the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette, the Fayetteville Free Weekly, and digital advertising on the Fayetteville Flyer. We also had active partnerships with organizations including Arts Live Theater, Northwest Arkansas Community College, the University of Arkansas, Ramey Junior High, Haas Hall Academy, and the Fayetteville School District. We had an active Facebook presence with boosted posts, and we will be continuing and enhancing similar promotional strategies here in 2018. FPTV is very active on Facebook and YouTube, as well as on Instagram. It is our goal to reach as many people as possible to let them know about the great resources and the great programming here on FPTV. Your media, as the service provider, is always looking to grow and improve the operation. Looking to the future, we are currently actively involved in two new initiatives. The first is our operational software. We have been working with a team from the Computer Science and Engineering Department at the University of Arkansas to develop custom operational software for Fayetteville Public Television. The most exciting dynamic of this new software will be that for the first time, producers will be able to reserve classes, equipment, and submit new programming online. We spent the fall of 2017 designing the software, and it will be finished in the spring of 2018. We will be producing a mini documentary about this great community partnership. Our second exciting initiative is the digitization of the FPTV archives. We have over 20 years of FPTV history on VHS, mini DV, DV cam, and DVDs that need to be digitized. To support this effort, we have worked with the city staff to develop a digitization workstation at the television center that will allow us to digitize all these materials. We will create a local copy and then upload the material to a dedicated YouTube channel to make it accessible to the public. We will create community synergy around this effort so that it does not overly tax our staff resources. We are excited to preserve the history we have in our archives and to make it available to the public. If you would like to be part of our archiving project, we would love to have you involved. In conclusion, we have had a busy first quarter here at the Television Center. FPTV is serving a growing and active production community. We are working to raise awareness of FPTV and its resources. We're continuing to premiere locally focused original content as a dominant content creator in Northwest Arkansas, and your media as the service provider is always striving to find new ways to serve both the city and the community. We encourage you to visit our website at faypublic.tv like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest programming and production opportunities. You can give us a call at 479-444-3433 or visit us during our business hours at 101 West Rock Street, one block south of the Fayetteville Square. FPTV gives you the opportunity to produce video without the obstacles of cost or censorship. It also gives you the opportunity to connect with the great things happening here in Northwest Arkansas. We enjoy the opportunity to share these resources with our community, and we hope to see you at the station. Thank you.